Hi all. Today, let's see what is the difference between static dashboards and dynamic dashboards on Salesforce, which is another very most important interview question for any Salesforce QA role. Let's start. So, uh, guys, I just logged into one uh, sample Salesforce org. Okay, hands on org and I just navigated to the service console. Okay, this is the service one. Okay, which you are able to see on my screen. Now, I just clicked on this dashboards. Okay, dashboards tab. Okay, so you can see, right? These are all the dashboards which I have already created. Okay, so just uh, click on anything. Okay, just open any one dashboard. Click on that. Okay. So, yes. So this is it guys, this is one of the dashboard, okay? You can see, right? So multiple things we can view on the screen. Now, here, you can see here, right? It displays as viewing as Amulya Redimala, okay? So I am the user, okay? So I logged in into this org. So when I open this dashboard, I am able to see, view this dashboard only with my name, okay? So this is called as a static dashboard. You got it, right? So, uh, like whoever logged in, if we are able to view the dashboard only with their name, that's called as a static dashboard, okay? See, I'm able to view this with my name, okay? So, like uh, if I'm a sales representative, okay, I'm able to view the dashboard only uh, with respect to my sales, how I performed, what are the opportunities which I have converted. So, it's completely related to my user profile only, okay? This is called as a static dashboard dashboard now what is a dynamic dashboard dynamic dashboard is even though i am one of the sales users still if or for example i am the sales manager okay and if i want to view the dashboard uh, with respect to one of my sales user i should be able to view that dashboard okay so that i can view the insights with respect to that particular user okay as i am the manager i should be able to view the dashboard with respect to other sales users who are under me okay so that's called as a dynamic dashboard where the user can view the dashboard with respect to specific users okay other users you got it right so that's called as a dynamic dashboard now let's see like how in real time we can convert a static dashboard into dynamic dashboard okay now here you can see right we have something called as a edit button okay so just click on this edit and just click on this edit okay and now you can see here we have one gear icon right so just click on this gear icon and scroll down so here you can see right something called as view dashboard as okay so currently it's checked as me means what like whomever i am the user like how i logged in only i should be able to view the dashboard based on my insights okay based on my own performance okay so view dashboard as me now here if you are selecting another person okay means what if uh, i should when Whenever I log in into this org, I should be able to view the dashboard based on this other person. Currently, it's my name, okay? So, I can go ahead and simply search with any other name. So, you can see here, right? We have someone called as Anud Singh, okay? So, here, if I'm selecting view dashboard as another person, Anud Singh, so whenever I will log in directly, I can view the dashboard based on Anud Singh user only, not Amulya Redimala, okay? That's this option. Now, uh, the dashboard viewer, just click on the next one and uh, let dashboard viewers choose whom they view the dashboard as. So, this is for dynamic dashboard, guys. Okay. So, if you want to view the dashboard based on other users, whomever you want to select dynamically, okay, you can use this option. Okay. Like, let dashboard viewers choose whom they view as. Okay. So, just click on this for da to view the dashboard dynamically, okay, based on some specific user and click on save simply click on save okay after clicking on save click on again save over here okay see dashboard got saved and click on done okay so you got it right this is completed now we made the changes okay uh, for our dashboard to be dynamic but here you can see right still it says viewing as amulya redimala only so how i can change 
this dashboard to view as some other user now okay just we made the settings over here okay now another most important thing we have to check is our profile settings okay so uh to me i mean to amulya whichever profile is assigned they should be having two levels of access okay let me show you for example just uh click on this setup search for users users okay so my username is amulya redimala right so just navigate over there r amulya redimala okay so you can see here right the profile which is assigned to me is system administrator profile okay so what we can do here just search with profile over here click on profiles system administrator right so what we have to do click on yes to filter out uh, click on system administrator okay that is the profile which was assigned to me now just scroll down and go to system permissions okay system permissions so these are all the system permissions now what we can do just search with control f dynamic okay so you can see here right we have something called as manage dynamic dashboards okay so this checkbox should be checked you can see here right it's already checked okay so to view uh, to utilize the dynamic dashboards functionality on salesforce for whatever profile which is assigned to our user profile see this uh, should be checked okay manage dynamic dashboards okay this is the first one next one is what just search with team okay you can see here right we have some something called as view my teams dashboard okay so this is another access okay system access so this also should be checked guys view dashboards owned by the people under them in the role hierarchy so i already explained you guys right so if i am the sales manager and if i want to view the dashboard based on some specific sales user who is under me under my hierarchy in the role then i should be able to switch to my sales user who is under me and i should be able to view the dashboard based on his insights also okay what is his performance how it's working on what are the sales he performed in the previous month so that's it guys so view my teams dashboard this also should be checked okay so as you can see both are checked so these conditions also we satisfied okay now let's navigate back to the service console so just click on the app launcher and navigate to the service console yes we are back now click again on this dashboard tab click on this and just open any dashboard again so just click on this okay yep and now you can see right there is some change so now here it's saying as viewing as amulya redimala change okay so now you can see right we got some new option which is called as a change okay so now if as a manager i want to view this dashboard with respect to another user then simply click on this change okay and here we can search with whatever user okay like anuj we have anuj singh right so click uh, anuj singh and click on apply okay see so you can see here right now i am viewing as anuj singh okay so he doesn't have any data actually over here so you saw right that's it guys in this manner actually uh, we can view the dashboard uh, by switching to another user okay now again if i want to view as amulya what i can do is simply click on change and select amulya redimala apply okay so now you can see right see again i am able to view as amulya redimala as a sales manager okay so that's it guys this is all about static dashboards and dynamic dashboards and what is the difference between both and how they both work on salesforce this is another most important interview question we have been facing lately okay i hope you found this video really helpful thank you so much guys for watching this video